Hi, I'm Rob from the Brush and Balcon, and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Primaris Space Wolf. So the first colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Retributor Armour. I'm going to use that to do the wings on his chest and some of the smaller details and probably a few little bits of the base too. Now the miniature's been undercoated with Army Painter Wolf Grey and a few bits have been undercoated with black. This is mainly because I undercoated it on the sprues and then I used some bits from a different sprue which hadn't been undercoated yet. So the black parts are the bits that are from other kits. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour finished. The next colour is going to be Citadel Mephist on red. And this is only going to be to do a few parts, like the purity seals and his lenses. When we come back, we'll have all them fist on red finished. Next, we're going to be using Vallejo Model Air Steel. We're going to be doing parts of his bolter and some of the smaller details and parts of his base. When we come back, we'll have all the model air steel finished. Next we're using Citadel Ricard Flesh. When we come back, we'll have all the back of our flesh finished. Next colour is going to be Mornfang Brown. I'm going to be using that to do all his pouches. When we come back, we'll have all the Mornfang Brown finished. Now we're just going to be using Vallejo Black. I mean, you can use the bad and black for this, just any black really. As long as it's sort of matte, it's not too glossy. And all we're going to be doing with this is all the little joints in his armour. When we come back, I'll have all the joints in his armour finished. Because this guy's from Bram Redmore's great company, we're just going to be doing his shoulder pad, giving that a base colour of white. Now just like the black, it doesn't really matter too much which white you use, as long as it's just a pure white. Next we'll be using Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade and what we're going to do is we're going to use this just to shade in all the creases so you don't want to be applying it thick over the whole model because it just means you've got to paint over it again so if you apply it as close to all the ridges as you can and then when you come to touch it back up and reapply the base layer you won't have as much work to do When we come back, we'll have all the Dragon Half Knife shades finished. The next shade that we're going to be using is Citadel Null Oil. That's just to do all the silvery metallic parts.
you come back we'll have all the null oil finished. Next up is a Grax Earthshade. I'm going to use this for all the gold and all of the brown on the model. When we come back, we'll have all the Grax Air Shade finished. Next, we're just going to use Seraphim Sepia. That's just to do the purity seals and also just the edge of his white shoulder pad. When we come back, we'll have all the Seraphim Sepia finished. The final shade that we're using is Druchy Violet. I'm just going to use that on all the bits of red on the model. Like so. Okay, now as I said at the start, he was previously sprayed with Wolf Grey, the Army Painter Spray. And we're now going to go over the areas where the shade's gone onto him using Citadel Rust Grey, which is pretty much an exact match. So we're just going to apply that again and cover up all the shade where it's smudged over. Then we'll move on to some highlighting. When we come back, we'll have all of the rust grey finished. We just added some white to the rust grey. Now we're going to be highlighting the armour. And the way I do that is I just use it to go over the areas that are going to catch the light more. So leaving the underside completely dark. When we come back, we'll have all of these highlights done. I've just had a little bit more white to that mix. We're just going to do one final highlight, and that's going to be around half the depth of the initial highlight. When we come back, we'll have all this highlight done. Next, we're just going to be using more Fang Brown again. We're just going to use that to redo the pouches. Like so. Now I've just added a little bit of white to the Mornfang Brown. I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting on the pouches. Like so. Now I'm just going to use some Ricard Flesh. That's just to do the parchment on his purity seals. When 
we come back, we'll have both purity seals done. Now we've added a little bit of white to the Ricard flesh. We're just going to do the highlights on the parchments. Like so. Now I've added a final little bit of white to them. We're just going to do some quick highlights to the edge of the parchment. Now we're just going to work on the reds. And the first colour that we're going to use is my fist on red again. I'm just going to use that to reapply some of the red, smooth it off on the scabbard and on his lanyard too. When we come back, we'll have all the fist on red finished. The next colour that we're going to use is Wasdaka Red. We're just going to do some highlights on the reds. Like so. Okay, so I've reapplied a little bit of my fist on red to his eye lenses. And all that we're going to do now is highlight those again using the fist on red mixed with a little bit of white. I'm going to try and paint a little kind of half circle on this section of the lens. Like so. Then we're going to add another tiny little spot of white to lighten that up again. I'm just going to highlight that like so. All you want to do now is use a tiny, tiny little spot of white to dot the eye lenses at the back here. Like so. So I've reapplied my fist on red. Like so. I'm just going to use the same colours again on the lens on his bolt rifle. Put a crescent of the first mix. I use the lighter mix to highlight that. And we're just adding a little spot of white to the lens. Now we're just going to work on the gold. So we're going to use Retributor Armor first. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armor finished. Next up, we're just going to be using a little bit of Liberator Gold, and that's just to add some highlights to the gold that we've just used. So, 
For one final highlight on the gold, we're just going to use a little bit of the Citadel dry paint, Sigma Rite. We're just going to lightly dry brush that over the gold areas. Like so. Now moving on to just the black to add a few details in. And one of the main ones is his shoulder pad, which you can't see very well there because it's a bit, a bit washed out by the light. There you go. You can see that I've lightly drawn on a rough sketch of Bram Red Moore's Great Company logo. I've also sketched on some triangles for his squad. Now, I'm also going to do the purity seals, the parchments on that. I've moved on to using a Wargamer character brush. I'm just going to start doing the details on this. Now, as often happens, it's very easy to make mistakes doing the little details, but if you do, just paint over it again and start it again. If it's not too bad, or you can just amend it, do that. But if not, just repaint the part that you're going over. When you're doing details, always drag the brush in a downward stroke because it keeps the point together. If you're going side to side when you're doing it, the point will splay a bit. Now we're just going to keep working on this, and when we come back, we'll have these triangles filled in. Now this section is pretty long, just going to be doing the icon for Bram Redmore's Great Company. So the only colours that I'm using here is Baleo Black and also Citadel Wazdaka Red and then I'm using white to touch it up at the very end. But just thought I'd put this in just so you can see how I paint the icon. Now you can see that initially there's a pencil outline of the icon and I'm basically just tracing around that with the paint. Like so. The final colour that we're using is Vallejo German Grey. It's a really, really dark grey. I'm just going to use that to highlight the black. When we come back, we'll have all the German grey finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.